Hello everybody, welcome to Montag number 26. Um, today we're going to talk about unconditional love. Unconditional love, something that it was reminded to me this week of my life. I always believe in unconditional love for um, a kind of style for parenting. But for the last, for the previous uh, week of my life, it happens that I was reminded by the kind of um, reactions that my daughter had to my um, own um, I mean, behavior with her. So I thought maybe it is a good idea to come along and chat with you about it and just remind you also about this fact, about its benefits and everything about um, why we should do this um, just in order to make you more informed about this. I know that a lot of you uh, might be aware about this, might be mindful about this, uh, but some of the times it happens as based on the business of our life, um, we lose sight of the fact that um, unconditional love, I don't know, is doable or not, or is right or not. So let's start with the definition of unconditional love. As it is, um, I mean, crystal clear from the, from the phrase, it means that loving someone without any condition, without expecting some, um, expecting other people to um, to just uh, give us anything in return, and. Um, it's a kind of freestyle loving, so loving someone just for, for that person, not for returning something, not for uh, doing something for us. And um, it is a kind of freedom when we think and we change our perspective uh, to love, um, to the unconditional love format. So. Um, you might have experienced, I mean, interacting with other people, um, that they do something for others just because they love them, just because they want to do it and they don't expect anything. And in contrast, you might have encountered with some of the people that all of the times they have expectations, all of the times they, they want uh, things, they, they ask for queer queries from other people in order to just... Um, I mean, they, they always think that, okay, well, this is in return to the love that I gave to that person. So what is it about this uh, topic that we just popped it up in um, the mom talk? Well, um, as I told you, based on the prior experience that I had in the previous week, um, my daughter was very, very tired of the, the, the kind of... Um, evasive changes that we've been through in the past two three months of our life and so uh, normally she had some reactions like doesn't want to you know, like she doesn't want to just uh, cope with others that well she doesn't want others to come to our house so it is it was very normal and I knew that but because it was really hard for me in the first place when someone came to my house um, to, to just accept that she's nagging all the time she's crying all the time so it happens that for me I came to her and told her and explained to her that your behavior is not right uh, you shouldn't act like this and it was for one time that I did it in front of the guests and I felt like she's feeling insecure she's feeling really bad she's feeling like my mom doesn't like me anymore doesn't love me anymore and this feel feeling of insecurity which I did it unintentionally uh, was with her and, and it deteriorates her behavior during the, the whole week and I um, all of a sudden I understood that well she's she's just feeling a little bit insecure and she's feeling that like mom doesn't like me anymore because of for example that bad thing that i've done and so it brings me to this topic of unconditional love and when i i gave her back the unconditional love i presented her i demonstrated uh, i demonstrated the unconditional love in my own behavior it um, really was magical and magically he just i mean she um, behaved the exact same way that she should behave and so everything really solved so um, 
I thought maybe I need to come and talk with all, all of us about this topic one another time. Does it really happen for you too that um, some of the times you feel a little bit insecure? Uh, I mean, in your relationship with your husband, with your parents, with your friends, with your children, you do something wrong and you feel insecure because you don't know, you're not sure that do they love you like before or not? This feeling of insecurity is something very, very common in our ch children's life um, and uh, so let's get back to the research results and see what is the result of um, not loving someone unconditionally uh, I mean the, ch the children specifically uh, the result proved that I mean the results of the research proved that the children who are suffering from um, the biased kind of love or the, the love with some expectations or the love with some limitations or stuff like that I mean something in contrast unconditional love are feeling insecure in their relationships even when they are in their adulthood so this will continue in their life and it might feel um, scary is all the times for them in their future and so as a person as someone um, so um, uh, I mean that it leads to their um, their problem in their emotional health and you know that emotional health is pretty important so if you're we are worried about their emotional health we might think twice about this fact that do we love them unconditionally or not and uh, so uh, for the children it is extra extra important to to just uh, receive unconditional love from us because um, otherwise they don't feel secure but what about us what about the benefits of unconditional love for us first and foremost we will practice acceptance we will practice forgiveness and, and we will enhance um, I mean, our challenges from something very, very small to something uh, bigger. And so we will give space and um, uh, I mean, we will, we will uh, I mean, have more time for the things that are more important in our life. So um, it happens that in our day to day life, we forget about caring about others. We forget about forgiving others. We forget about loving others. And that happens because we are constantly, we are constantly nagging. We're constantly expecting from others. We're constantly waiting for something in return in order to just to just love them one more time and this will just make us feel stuck in in the level that we are uh, like for example in our relationship with our husband some of the times it happens that um, we feel very bad um, in our relationship we feel really sick in our relationship and we feel that like um, we 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 are not loved enough and we don't want to love our husband anymore because for example he didn't do that for you so um in return let's just think in this way i'm gonna love the the kind of people that are near and dear to my heart like my husband like my children like my family i mean the the kind of close relatives unconditionally from now on i'm gonna do what i need to do i'm gonna act what i mean in any behavior uh, in any appropriate behavior that i should um i mean behave like and i don't want to think about the expectations i don't want to think about things that they need to give me in return and in this way i will free up some space in my mind and i will let other good ideas to come into my mind just take for example your all the time nagging to your husband that okay well yesterday you didn't you didn't um, answer me when I asked you something and then this is in your mind and all the time you're thinking about it but take for example you, you just consider you just love your husband the way he is uh, you love her, him unconditionally you don't expect him to do something extra um, and um, all of a sudden, when this, when this, I mean, feeling comes to you, you feel that okay. Well, maybe he was bored. Maybe he was thinking about some other thing. Maybe her mind, his mind was occupied, and so you feel free after that. This feeling will leave, and 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 you will be 
um, I mean, uh, provided with a wider space in your mind for greater, um, I mean, ideas with greater feelings. And so, why do we need to practice this, first of all, in order to just be a very good role model for our children? Because they need to practice this also for their future life. Otherwise, they will be always, always busy with these negative feelings, with these expectations from others, and this will stop them from progressing in their life. Um, and so as a mom, it is important to do that. For, uh, and the second, um, I mean, um, the second, I mean, uh, reason for this unconditional love is to just uh, give them this gift of emotional health to our children this security that they all need in order to just experience in their life and so as a mom this is one of the best gifts that we can give them and also to our husband they deserve a good life and we deserve a good life so we need to give them this gift and thirdly we need to practice acceptance we need to practice forgiveness and we need to provide wider space for our growth and if we are just thinking about nitty-gritty things like uh, petty things then um, we don't have time we don't have energy we don't have space for greater things so it was just a kind of gentle reminder as I told you, it was based on my prior experience in the previous week of my life. And thank you all for attending. Um, let's practice unconditional love for this week of our life. It can be happening every once in a while in our day-to-day -day life. All we need to do um, is that we need to remind ourselves about this fact. We need to be more mindful about this. And um, for those of you who have momentous planners or for those of you who have been talking about, I mean, stuff like this in the workshops, you know that we have a kind of reminder for every week, every month. And at that part, you can remind yourself about this every once in a while to just make sure that um, you're, you're, you're just um, on, on the wagon, you're on track, you don't lose sight of this fact and you are loving your children and your husband unconditionally thank you all for attending i hope you have a very lovely weekend ahead of you and goodbye